Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, and welcome to episode 2 of On The Trot. It's my new Ultimate Team series, and this is going to be the second episode. Now, we won our last game, as you saw, so I placed this guy, if I can select him, Barai as our centre defensive mid, and we're going to play a game with him, see how he does in the team. Obviously, because he is centre defensive mid, he's probably not going to do anything special that's like noteworthy that I'll notice straight away. But hopefully he can do his job nicely. So hopefully if we win our next game. That means we can then pop a silver player into the team. Which would be fantastic. Now I'm not sure who I'd get. But I'm thinking of a new striker. Maybe with four star skills. Because it would be quite fun. But yeah. Sorry if my voice is a little bit croaky. I'm trying my hardest to overcome this illness. I don't know what's happened. But ever since my live stream. I seem to have picked up this crazy horrible virus. And I had like the worst night's sleep ever last night. But I'm just going to man up, power through it. I know you guys want to see some videos. So I'm going to shut up about my illness. Because it's not that bad. I've just got a bit of a weird voice lately. But I'm going to try and stay how I normally am. Like how I normally do my videos. It's a little bit painful. But it's all good. I don't care. <laughs> right. So let's play our next game and see if we can win. So the first guy that we come up against is this guy. And his chemistry was pretty, pretty poor. I don't know what the hell he was doing. He's got a left wing back in the right wing position. Left mid in left wing, which isn't that bad. But it just didn't seem like he knew what places went where. And I was like, okay, never mind. It's all good. It's all good. But this is a bit scrappy. I was like, that could have been a penalty. But it made me laugh anyway. But we don't actually get the goal from that. I was like, oh, that should have gone in. But never mind. It's all good. Now Botter passes it up to Cissé. This was actually meant to be a chip, but I kind of screwed it up. And then Rosato's going to do like a flying scissor kick backwards. And it's going to go into the back of the net in the 17th minute. Which is absolutely awesome. And then Rosato gets the ball again. Goes on a bit of a run. He'll chop and then finesse it right round the keeper in the 38th minute. That is what we like to see. Nice little bit of skill. Just to get around that last defender. And these are the half-time stats. He's had no shots at all. Which is why you've seen nothing from him. But let's carry on. Now Cissé's on the ball, couple of step overs, turn around, and then we're going to just wander around, <laughs> pass it up to Rosoto, and he shouldn't have tackled me there, but I'm just going to piddle it into the back of the net to make it 3-0, and then moving on to the final clip of the game, Rosoto's heel chopping, should have been tackled there, but he just piddles it past the keeper again, 81st minute, and that is how the game ends, so back to the squad screen. So we managed to win that game which is absolutely brilliant, it means we get to pop a silver player in and as you can see I have done exactly that. I've picked up this guy Paladino from Parma and he's got 4 star skills, 81 pace, 68 shooting and 84 dribbling. He should be an absolute beast which is brilliant. But yeah, we won that game, he had terrible chemistry which is what we like to see. And I'm pretty sure he only had one shot the entire game. I had around 17 or so, and I'm pretty sure he had one, which is pretty good. It shows that my midfield's doing its job and keeping, keeping the ball away from anywhere near the net, which is great. But we're going to see how this guy performs. Now, if we win our next game, that means we can go to the auction house and buy a gold player. I didn't really know what I was going to say then. I had a plan in mind of what I was going to say. And then I completely forgot it. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, I'm broken. Anyway, without being a coffee bugger, I'm going to hopefully win this next game. Which would then be our third game on the trot with a win. Which then means we can get a gold player. Yeah. Right. Let's win this game. Let's do this. Let's see what we can do. Let's jump into the next game. Now, our next opponent is this guy who, again, doesn't have very good chemistry. And I was quite surprised because usually I come up against opponents that have really decent teams. But this one, he had a gold player and a silver player thrown into the mix. But the chemistry was only 43. So I was hoping for a fairly decent game. But Rosoto's on the ball. Lofted through ball over to Paladino. And he's going to crack it on the volley, but he's way, way too powerful. Bit unfortunate there, but the guys are going to play silly buggers and pass me the ball and I'm going to poke it into the back of the net. Hooray! I love goals like that. Really do make me laugh. So easy to score. And, you know, simple first goal. It's a nice way to start the game. But we get a throw in. 
Pass it down to Barai, who was the centre defensive mid that I picked up. Beautiful back here there. And then Rosato's going to smack it right into the top corner. Eighth minute. That was splendid. That back heel was absolutely stunning. These two are playing nicely already. Now Paladino is on the ball again. And to be honest, I don't really know what I was doing. I was trying to do a Megidi spin. And then I kept screwing up. And then I pressed the wrong one. And I was just being a massive idiot. But somehow, somehow it still fooled him. And I managed to get the goal besides doing completely the wrong skill moves that I actually intended to. I don't know how that worked, but it did. Now, Rosato is going on a lovely run, and his player just decides to take me out completely, wipes me onto the floor. And he gets a red card for that, which is completely well-deserved. Could not believe that, but Rosato steps up to the plate, and he cracks it straight into the back of the net. What a beauty! 19th minute, such a lovely free kick, and we are going to have a replay of that. Such a lovely curl on this ball. Look at that. Damn, Rosato. This guy is turning out to be one of my favourite players that I've played with. But Botta does a nice step over there. And then we get a cheeky little goal. Paladino just finds the ball and knocks it in. Now, these are the half-time stats. Again, he's only had one shot. This is just crazy. I don't see what's going on. But I seem to be dominating these games. And that is a lovely volley from Paladino. Absolutely splendid. And then we are running with Botta, try and pass it down to Rosotto. We try and pass it around his keeper and sort of do a bit of cheekiness. But it falls nicely to Paladino, who's going to finish off the game and it ends 7-0. So, because we won our third game on the trot, that means we have got a brand new gold player in the team. I picked Buffon, who plays for Juventus in the Serie A, obviously because he is Italian. He can still link up with the other players who are from the Serie B. But I thought I'd upgrade my goalkeeper. Get rid of that bronze one because they never do that well. Especially against finesse shots. So I thought I'd whack Buffon in because he's an absolute brilliant keeper. And that should do quite nicely. Now the next game if we win it. Obviously we won't actually get any rewards. It's not until the fifth win on the trot. That's we will be allowed to buy a brand new inform player. No idea who I'd get, but it should be quite good. Should be pretty interesting, and it'd be amazing if we could win the next two games. But let's carry on to the final game of this episode and see if we can carry on our win streak. So far, we have won three games in a row. We haven't lost yet. This team is absolutely brilliant. I love playing with this team. So, so much fun. And yeah, let's carry on. Let's see how we do in the next game. Let's do this. Now, our final opponent is this guy who has got even worse chemistry than the other two. I was shocked. 33. Obviously, it's just because he's got his starter pack. But he has got a silver player in the mix as well, who appears to be in the right formation. So he's obviously just starting out. But we get a lovely ball up to Rosato, and he's going to finesse it right round to the keeper into the bottom right corner in the ninth minute absolutely superb really great way to start the final game of this episode now if we win this one we have got our fourth win of the game but guess what he does ninth minute and he's already rage quitting damn <laughs> i was like really man you could have come back from that it's only one goal but never mind let's take you back to the squad screen for a final time Wow, just wow, I can't actually believe he quit after just one goal, it wasn't even that, oh, I'm shocked, actually shocked, I didn't think he'd rage quit that early on, I mean I know he scored one goal, and I know it was a cheeky little finesse around his keeper, but come on man, ninth minute, there's plenty of time to come back, I mean, that is just ridiculous, ninth minute and he already rage quit, but never mind, I guess it counts as a win, so that is our fourth win, we haven't lost a game yet, and if we win our first game in the next episode, that means we can buy a brand new Inform player. Now, one of you guys had a suggestion that if I win seven games on the trot, I can buy a blue card, a Team of the Year player, which I quite like the idea of. I think I am actually going to do that. So if I win all of the games of the next episode, I'll be able to buy a Team of the Year at the end of the next episode. So, win the first game of the next one, and I get a informed player. Win all of them in the next episode, 
I get a blue card. A team of the year. It'd be amazing. I have no idea who I'd get, but it could be quite interesting. So, that concludes this second episode of On The Trot. I hope you have enjoyed it. Terribly sorry about that last game. It was really quick and probably wasn't very exciting to watch. But for some reason, he rage quit. But, you know, it does count as a win. So I thought I'd include it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care. Look out for the next episode. And I shall speak to you then. Thank you very much for watching. And have a great day. And goodbye. So that was the second episode of On The Trot. Absolutely loving this series. The team is so much fun to play with. And I hope you guys are too. Now, on the left-hand side, we've got some latest videos. The top one is the previous episode in this series. And then the bottom left one is going to be the next episode in this series. Now, on the right-hand side, you've got my Twitter link. Do follow me on that because I do update things about my channel and videos and generally things about me quite often. And then the bottom right link is a page where you can subscribe to see all my latest videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care. Have a great day and goodbye.